Welcome to Psychologist Talks. Today we're doing kind of a, I don't know, like a inspirational adage mantra quote episode. <laughs> and the full disclosure, I tried to, I saw this whole like YouTube shorts thing and I was like, all right, I'm going to try to create a short under 60 seconds. Got it. But then there was like apparently an aspect ratio issue. <laughs> so I was like, well, I'm not going to put forth that effort to try to figure out how to do that because my, my, my Mac does not natively allow me to switch that up. So screw it. I'm going to make more than 30 or sorry, more than a 60 second clip here on this particular adage. Now this came up, uh, you know, I think, you know, when I was thinking about New Year's and what could I offer people and what I often offer people with whom I work is the adage, the mantra, whatever you want to call it is, you are exactly where you need to be. Now, what do I mean by this? The skeptics of the world, I love you very much. If you're like, ah, oh, that's BS, like, oh, what a wonderful way to, to write off the past or write off the, the necessity for hard work or effort, to which I would say, okay, cool your jets, one. <laughs> So it's not what I'm going for here. What I'm going for, well, let's not say what I'm going for. I'm not saying that, that life doesn't require effort. I'm not saying that what comes around the next corner for you is invariably going to be a positive, great thing. I'm not saying that even if you put forth a ton of effort, you're going to get to, to exactly where you want to be. The, the purpose of this adage is that when we pause and we notice where we're at today, we can either get distressed and overwhelmed and shameful about where we are at, or we can get curious about where we are at. Indeed, when we look to our past, there are many things that perhaps we wish did not occur to us. And the same goes for me as a provider when I'm meeting with people. I don't look back and go, well, gosh, I'm glad that that abuse happened to you because it led you to the present day. No. It's, it, there's a, we call it a dialectic, that two things can be true at the same time, that we can look to the past and wish things could have been different and, and fantasize about having made different choices or if only we had the insights we had today and were able to apply them to the past. But that's the trick. The end, the dialectical end is you are where you are at today because it's an amalgam of a lot of important experiences that are teaching you something invaluable about yourself and therefore invaluable about the future and where you might head and what you might do differently. We creatures, we human creatures, have this wonderful habit of, of, of doing lots of really productive things in our life, but then also finding ourselves trapped in unhealthy cycles that keep us stuck. And what we often are doing is we're repeating we're going through these cycles, these enactments, these repetition compulsions, we call them. We go through them again and again because we're trying to crack a code here. We're trying to figure out like this something isn't working and I need to figure my way through it. And so where you are at today is precisely where you need to be because it is another opportunity to think back and look at the chapters of the book thus far so you can be more intentional writing chapters in the future. And indeed, you might get to a future chapter. And again, it's not quite where you want to be, but you just got another chapter of really invaluable information that puts you precisely where you need to be to make another pivot. Again, this is not excuse making. This is not giving people passes for, for you know being bad people over and over again. But if you are invested in a mindset of growth and you are invested in changing something to be more productive uh, in your life, it's simply an adage that gives you a moment to just accept where you're at and say, you know what, I could, I could choose in this moment uh, to, to torture myself or I could choose to accept that I am exactly where I need to be. Now, I wonder what that's going to tell me and I wonder from that uh, where it might tell me I might be heading. So if that's of any use to anybody, I'm not sure. Uh, it's something I enjoy offering uh, clients and patients with whom I work, particularly when they're out there kind of trying new things. I think it's a wonderful mindset. You know, you get up on the bike, you fall off. Well, guess what? That's, that's precisely part of the process. You are exactly where you need to be. Um, I, I guess I shouldn't even say that. It's not even just action. Sometimes when people are like, yeah, but I'm not changing anything. I'm just learning about myself or I noticed it, but nothing's changed. It's like, yeah, but you've learned to notice it. You haven't noticed it for decades or years. You haven't been able to notice that proactively. Now you're noticing it more proactively. Oh, like 
maybe that's precisely where you need to be. You're getting good at noticing. So that this time when you go out and try to do something different, maybe this time it'll stick. Maybe this time it'll take hold. And that's exactly where you need to be. You're not supposed to be 10 steps ahead all the time. That's exhausting. That's exhausting. Or, gosh, I don't even know how to observe right now. Yeah, but you're learning to ground yourself. You're usually so overwhelmed. You just exit the situation. You don't even try to, to manage it because it's so overwhelming to you. That grounding where you're at. That's exactly where you need to be. We'll get you there. You know, we're not we're not shirking our responsibility to get to some place different, but maybe this is exactly where you need to be. So, yeah. So again, hope, hope helpful, inspiring, curiosity provoking, whatever it might be. Uh, but forget it. Offer that as we close out 2023 and head into what is probably guaranteed to be guaranteed to be another. Uh, I don't want to sound too pessimistic and cynical, but another chaotic 2024. So, uh, yeah. Then, then I get existentials like, is this exactly where society needs to be? Mm-hmm. But maybe that's another episode. So <laughs> anyway, as always, stay curious.